Hey guys, how's it going? So I have the Moto Z Force here in hand. Um, if you'd like that picture right there, follow me on Instagram because that's where it is. It's also on Google Plus as well. I was out in Ames Snow Park. I had a blast. Um, I definitely am thinking about making a different channel. I probably am going to make a different channel. More focused on like fitness, health, and things like that. Because you can see, look at the, look at that back. Look at, look at those back muscles, yeah. Um, people are always ask me what I eat and stuff. Right now, it's mostly fruits. Sometimes I eat cooked foods, but I really only crave fruits and vegetables every now and then. And I don't worry about protein, I just go. But this video is about the durability of this amazing phone. Now, the Pixel X XL is out, correct? Yes, the Pixel XL is out currently. The Google the Pixel, the Pixel XL. I made a little video talking about my thoughts on it, and those thoughts really haven't changed. Nothing about that phone excites me. Other than maybe the camera, but it's not not to a certain extent that I would ever upgrade. Like a camera has never been the number one thing for me in a phone. And this phone has the 1080p 60 frames per second, has a 21 megapixel camera, so I'm good. I'm all set on camera. I'm not complaining here. I love my 21 megapixels. And for two years all my photos will be backed up and videos and all that, so unlimited for two years and that's usually I'm not gonna have this phone for longer than two years I'm most likely gonna get but maybe not the next one because now I'm trying to not get too many phones but the one after that but the Moto Z Force hands down is the the best phone I think the Z Play has the best value but this one is the best phone and I'll say this one is, is the best one for me I wish it would look like the white and gold Moto Z Play like the, the, the Moto Z Play is just so sexy it's such a sexy phone I just I can't get over how sexy that phone is but for me though, the Z Force is definitely the, the best one because it's got a great battery life. I don't have to really worry about charging it too much. And it charges extremely fast. And I have the battery mod, which was only like 70 bucks. And with that thing, I never charge. I start off my day with it. And then usually towards the end of the day is when I take it off. And because it's curved, it's very comfortable. Uh, so I'm not like craving the Pixel or the Pixel XL. So, but doing a durability on this phone which the durability on this phone is way better than that of the google pixel google pixel i'm pretty sure has no water resistance not that i heard about um definitely does not have a shatterproof display that's for damn sure so with this phone shatterproof display and everything this is the phone to beat but this is about the durability so let me show you guys I go, as you guys know from my videos, I go out to nature a lot, and usually this is the phone that I carry with me, and for some reason, I just never bring a case with me. There is a bumper case for this phone by Verizon, but it it doesn't work well with the, you can't charge it while you have the bumper case on, so you can't charge it, you can't play music, because the, here, they just messed it up. I don't know how they messed that up, you know, it's Verizon branded, it's for one, their exclusive device, how do you mess that up? I mean, it didn't take me long to figure out that it didn't work well. So I never really use that one as often because sometimes I do go in my car to listen to music. And if I do want to charge it, I, I hate having to keep taking the case off. And you know if you keep taking the case off over and over and over, it just starts to... Because it's all plastic and rubber. It just starts to stretch out. Eventually it breaks like my other bumper case did for the Moto X Pure Edition. So I don't, don't really use it. So most of the time, this is cases. This phone is naked up until I got the poetic cases, which I've been using. Um, but before that, let's see what we got here. I've dropped it a lot, mostly on concrete. Isn't that fun? Isn't that great? Look at that. So got a little scratches here at the top. Scratch here as well. Another scratch here. I think the mods do help because when it falls, at least to protect the back from getting scratched. Because, yeah, the mods do end up falling off, but on the initial impact, it the, hits the mod, it saves your back. I think my back would be even more messed up if it was always just naked. But dude, there was one time I did drop it naked, and I'll show you what happened. Let's see if we can get focus here. Let's see, as you can see, more scratches here. Scratch here. So it takes it took the jobs very well. There's no deep bruise or anything. This is a very well built device. Motorola, even though not, Motorola, even though now they are owned by Lenovo, they're still making quality products. I'm not seeing any. You know, there's no bend gate issues here. Like Motorola has consistently released very well built products. 
smartphones that don't blow up, smartphones that are very, that have innovation just, just spewing out of it, you know? Still one of the only big manufacturers with the front facing flash, which is awesome. I love the front facing flash. The motor mods, there's just nothing beating that right now at all. Shatterproof display, you can't beat that. Oh yeah, I gotta show you the screen. I did drop it on top of a rock. Look at this. Oh man, so it did dig into it a little bit. But the fifth outermost layer is replaceable, so I would just have to buy another one. Because the fifth one is essentially a screen protector. But I did one day, I was I took the phone out of my pocket really quick, and it kind of flew. So at that point, there was no case on it. There was no bumper case. There was no style shell mod i recommend using this with a mod because look at this fingerprints is nasty i recommend using it with a mod at all times because the mod will make this flush because if when it's not flush that will happen as you can see here got a cracked lens so a lot of my pictures and videos will come out a little blurry so yeah which sucks i do have insurance though um i'll be paying 150 to get another one pretty soon um but in the meantime it hasn't really bothered me but that's the thing about this phone it is definitely very durable without being bulky. Great battery life without being bulky. All of these without being bulky. This is how you make a phone. Right here. This is how you make a phone. This is a very well built phone. It works so well. I never have any issues with it. I would say this is pretty much almost the perfect phone. I'll say the only thing that wouldn't make it not perfect is the missing headphone jack. But otherwise in terms of durability man. This is, this is nice. Just use it with a style mod to avoid that from happening. Otherwise, you're going to be paying 150 to get another one. But this is my durability video for the Moto Z Force. So, any of you guys got the Moto Z Force? How's yours holding up? I mean, other than like this and that. I mean, I could actually live with this. I'm, I'm glad that the grooves aren't like any deeper. They're not deep, and these are really hard falls. So, I'm very, very impressed with the build quality on this baby right here. I love you. I do. <laughs> Alright, so I'll see you guys on the next one. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram at Hear Me Raw. Link will be in the comment and description. Peace.